Take a look now at a, probably what I would say one of the most popular and most useful Zen in the martial arts saying that there is out there. And I'm also going to show you how it applies outside the martial arts as well. But the saying goes, and most of you have heard it, to beat action, you meet action. Okay? So let's take a look at that. I got Master Randolph here to help me for this one. Let's see if we line up in the camera pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's say we go right to combat mode. The best way to show this, and the best way to demonstrate this, is uh, could you go sideways? The other way, please. And uh, move back. And okay. You know what a crossover sidekick is? One of Bruce Lee's favorite uh, maneuvers. Now, beat action, meet action. Let's reverse that for a second. Let's say he crosses over and I move back. I'd be moving in. I remember an instructor says, for God's sakes, every time you move back, you move into it. Now, to beat action what? Meet action. I meet action. What if I see the beginning of the movement and I step in and I clog it? Uh, if you, uh, like, uh, if you care for movies, the, the movie Hunt for Red October uses this exact principle to uh, defend themselves in the submarine. And uh, what happens is they get a missile sent at them, and Sean Connery very cool and calmly tells the captain to steer his ship into the missile. Well, everybody's like, saying, my God, what are you, crazy? The missile hit the ship, and then one captain says, oh, he went into it, and it didn't have time to engage. It didn't have time to uh, um, arm itself. And it hit the ship, broken pieces fell off. If anyone ever seen that movie? No? Okay. That was my favorite part, because I knew exactly what was going on. I says, is he going to do the beat meat action thing? And it's true. They show the missile hit, and, uh, oh, one last thing he says. They won that, that quick battle, but then Sean Connery said, right now he's removing the safeties on his missiles. What I'm trying to say is you get one chance to make this work well. I doubt he's gonna fall for it a second time. My old master said, go ahead and catch a squirrel in the backyard, let him go, try to catch him again. You'll never see that squirrel again. So anyways, a crossover sidekick is, you'll see this in Bruce Lee movies, uh, he go ahead and comes in, he brings his knee up, okay? And he knees him in the thigh, or just come up with it like a little bit right there, this type of thing. You'll see that. I'm trying to do this while he's working with me. Okay, but anyways, or simply this. Go ahead, cross over side, cut, kick. The beat action meter, okay? Enjoy, take that, work with it. Remember, intercept, but make sure you do it at the right time because you certainly don't want to be walking or going into a crossover side kick when it's triggered and it's armed itself, just like that missile in Hunt for an October. Make sure you watch that movie. <laughs> All right, that'll take care of this lesson. This Zen and Kempo is a real good one, and I got Master Randolph here to help me. There's an old saying in the martial arts that, can I go out, please? The natural weapons are also targets in the eyes of a good martial artist. All right? I like to refer to this as destroying the guard. All right, now, he can be in guard and I can be back here, and I'm gonna do a palm so I don't have any knuckle problems. I can do a strike, and if I hit and punch that, I might be able to injure the wrist. If not, at least with a palm, 
Okay, I can, I can press it out of the way and come in there. So what I'm saying is the head, the head's pretty far away in the stomach, but you never thought of hitting. All right, now that was a punch I can do. Now I did a downward chop and did that hurt at all? Yes, sir. Right. You can do a downward chop on the, uh, if you can try to hit the muscle here and, and hurt it. Um, uh, and, this, and this leads really well to a, an eye strike if you need real life. Well, what I'm trying to just say here is simply, have you ever thought of this being your target and not this? And if one thing's gonna put him on defense real fast is when he feels these being assaulted. All right? And a good punch can hurt the bones. All right, coming down here, you might be able to hit that muscle and cause a, a small charley horse. And then these are excellent entry points into the rest. Another thing about the weapon itself being attacked. Let's say he grabbed, I'm just gonna use a basic grab so I can teach this. But let's say he grabbed the shirt, okay? You all have a hammer strike. Now I could go to the nose, but that's pretty far away. Notice I reached. What if I hammer strike and I hit the bicep? Okay, I could injure the bicep. Have you ever been hit really hard there? Go ahead. And it's, uh, it's, it's rather painful and it's very uncomfortable. All right, and you can do some good damage to that. Now if you hit it hard enough, it might be able to cause slight paralyzation. But some people might think of trying to grab on tight. Grab on tight, I'm trying to knock the grip off. Okay, and if he's, if he's, a, and he's strong, believe it or not, he's stronger than me. You think, he's really strong. You're gonna have trouble with that. If you wanna release the grip, nice hammer strike right there on the bicep. It's getting sore now, is it? But one solid one, especially when he thinks he might be going to the nose. He might say, oh, he's gonna hit me in the nose and bring this hand up, bah! And you, you condense the circle instead of going there and there, and that's really a shocker. So again, I just want to uh, give you the Zen thing that we like to say is that the natural weapons can be targets in the eyes of a good martial artist. And from a fighting position, striking the guards are excellent ways to begin your assault. And that's all for this uh, drill. There's a lot more that can be said, and all that I show is not all that I know. So but we'll leave it there for this lesson. Thanks for watching. These videos are tremendous. You'd better like them too or I'll be back. <laughs>